Hey guys, so in today's video I want to do a little experiment. You guys are all going to be my lovely, beautiful assistants. Unless my friend Ryan is watching, then he will be my only slightly attractive assistant. We are talking to my friend Ryan, and as a joke we said, Ryan, who the hell would have sex with you? And then he replied with, I'd shag me. You weirdo. Anyway, as I was saying, in today's video we're going to do something a little sciencey. I want you to, any time during this episode, if you yawn, Make a note of when you yawn, and post it in the comment section, the time. So pause my video when you yawn, and then give me the time. Today's video I'm going to talk about the science of yawning. Now, yawning is something that the human race doesn't understand still. Now, yawning happens, well, people think it happens when you're tired, or when you're bored, or things like that. However, we don't exactly know that, that's only a theory, and there are many different theories, which I'm about to tell you. Theory number one is, of course, the boredom, fatigue, and tiredness theory. Because you're bored, you're not breathing as much, and so your body thinks, hang on, I need more oxygen. So you yawn and take in more oxygen. However, some people think it's a psychological theory. The psychological theory is that your brain induces you to yawn because you've got a build-up of carbon dioxide in your lungs and it needs more oxygen. Another theory is the evolutionary theory. The evolutionary theory is the theory that our ancestors used to yawn and bare their teeth to scare off predators and other males that want to steal their wives. And the other theory is the brain cooling theory, that your brain is getting too hot, so you yawn to cool your brain down. As I said, all of these are theories. We don't actually know what causes us to yawn. However, we do know one thing. Yawning is freaking contagious. Normally, a person yawns because they see another person yawn. However, why did the first person yawn? Now, the first person could have yawned because at some part of the brain, they're just thinking of yawning, and then suddenly they yawn. <laughs> Sneeze. In one study, they took one group of people who are autistic and one group of people who are not autistic. They showed both groups a video of people just opening and closing their mouths. Both groups yawn the same amount of time. However, when they showed them a video of people yawning, a group of non-autistic people were the ones to yawn more. This autism is a disorder that affects someone's socialising skills, including the ability to empathise with people. They think it may be down to a psychological aspect of if you see someone yawn, you yawn because you feel empathy for that person. However, because autistic people have difficulties with social skills, they think that autistic people yawned less because they didn't quite understand empathy. However, during this video, you may have yawned once, twice, three times, maybe you didn't yawn at all, and if you didn't yawn at all, you're a bastard. I'm just kidding. Subscribe to me, you know, don't leave me. I love you, please. Thank you for watching today's video. Remember to put in the description if you yawned and at what time you yawned, and maybe put in your age. And if you're a female that lives in the southeast of the UK, Maybe you should put your phone number in there, you never know. That was smooth. Unlike me. I'm probably going to explain why I'm not smooth in the next episode because of the awkward situation that happened on Saturday. Oof. It was freaking awful, dude. Dude? Apparently you're a dude now. Or I'm just talking to the camera. My camera's a boy, or is it a girl? I don't know. It stares at me an awful lot. I'm just blabbering now. Goodbye! Leave! Go! Stop watching my video. Got to say the ending, didn't I? Oh yeah, shit. Till next time, stay cool, or socially awkward. Whatever. For oh, freak's sake! I've yawned like seven times during this video. Maybe subscribing to me should be contagious. Hopefully it will be one day. Maybe loving me should be contagious. However, someone would have to love me at the start to be able to make it contagious. That's so lonely.